trending video comes from the Portland Trailblazers. As we all know, the Blazers have one of the best backward duos in the NBA with Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. Now, the Blazers are doing all they can to get Dame and CJ in the All-Star game in a scene in this Instagram video. They even had Lillard dress up like Darth Vader. Tell me, that's Damian Lillard again. While CJ danced, uh, uh, danced, or, or, uh, danced urging fans to vote, or asked urging fans to vote. And the NBA All-Star Game starters will be named on January 24. But without a doubt, no, uh, Dame and uh, 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 McCollum are two, uh, are one of the best backwards in the NBA. But enough by all to, for them to be NBA All-Stars if, uh, if I would let the two of you decide. Kevin? Well, yeah, they're both deserving because they're leading the team. But that's a uh, <laughs> na campaign. Parang yun yung campaign, they should make it. <laughs> Dahil sa campaign. Dahil no? sa campaign. <laughs> Hindi gagawin ni Larry yan. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee Larry Fonacher will never do anything like this. <laughs> really? Uh, Kaya mong gawin ngayon yan? Ikaw, Larry? Did you see my YouTube Shaka Roll video? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, nagbago na talaga si Larry. <laughs> Hindi na siya suplado. <laughs> ano na, pwede siya ubis na pala si Larry. <laughs> But, uh, but you know, it's, it's naman yan, katuwaan naman yan. I mean, it's all about making the fans happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all about getting fans uh, uh, involved. And uh, I thought, these are ideas for you guys. Ha? Para dumami fans ng NLEX, para baka pa- pati kayong dalawa, sabay na pumasok ng PBA. <laughs> What's that? Kasi tingin ko si Kevin Alas kaya gawin yun. Mm-hmm. Nah, pero nakakaya i-campaign yung sarili mo para sa All-Star Game. <laughs> eh, pag inuto si coaching, eh, ano pong magagawa natin? Of course, there are, and then there are guys na hindi na kailangan makamangampanya just because they're so dominant. And, it, you know, syempre, a Junmar Fajardo comes to mind, di ba? Na Junmar doesn't have to campaign for anything, even for the MVP award, because it's almost automatic that he wins it every year. And it looks like he's gonna win another one uh, on Sunday, tama? Yes. 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 yes you're not gonna say hindi, baka, baka. No. No. It's gonna. It's it's, it's his. Yeah. Okay. Given that, uh, tinanong ko kanina si Cliff Hodge and Chris Newsom, mm-hmm. no? Kailan ba matatapos tong winning streak ni Jumar's MVP? And hindi sila makabigay ng sagot because they're parang makahirap maghanap ng tao na ano. But how about you, Larry? You've been in the league for so many years. You're watching Jumar now the past what six years. Is there anyone who can realistically challenge him for that award in the next two years? Well, uh, if Junmar ages and slows down, I mean, baka it's uh, open open competition okay. well, yeah, for that. When is that going to happen? I mean, Junmar, baget sa baget pa si Junmar na I know. Uh, yeah, it's tough, no? Uh, he's got uh, the stats covered, no? And they're always winning, no? So, siguro... Just try to eliminate their team. Yun na lang siguro, just to... They don't make the playoffs. Parang yun na lang yun, siguro. Parang mabawasan yes. ng win shares and... Uh, yeah. yeah. Or, or convince Coach Leo, siguro si Stan Hardinger na lang bigyan niya ng bola. <laughs> or Terrence Romeo, or Lasseter, or I don't know. Ikaw, Kev, you look at the Junmar situation, is he going to slow down or medyo matatagalan pa bago mag- makahanap tayo ng panibagong MVP contender? Well, personally, I don't see anyone parang close na makakalaban ni Junmar in the coming 2, 3, 4 years. Kasi parang it's hard to do. Parang yung stats na pinaproduce si Junmar, points, rebounds, blocks, then efficiency, win shares pa. Parang iba, iba every year, iba-iba yung kal- kalaban niya sa MVP race. Eh. So, magal hat parang like, tinasubukan ilitrone si Junmar, but I don't see it possible very soon. And, and the thing with Junmar is he's on a team that's going to be in the playoffs every time. They'll be in the semis every time and they'll be title contenders all the time. So, ang haba nung tournament, ang haba nung con- conference niya. Ang pinaka-frustrating pa, napakabait pa nitong si Junmar. <laughs> so, parang hindi mo rin pa, hindi mo rin kaya na, sana di ka na mag-MVP, right. pre. Kasi nakakainis ka. No, Junmar is... Possibly the most loved player in the PBA, tama ba, Lars? Probably the most low-key um, um, MVP, no? I mean, the way he handles himself, no? He can, he can easily promote himself, he can easily get all these endorsements, but it's not him, eh. And I think that humility keeps his game on top, lagi, no? Hindi siya nagpapadala sa, sa Fenya, doesn't reach his head, no? And yeah, everyone loves him. Uh, is that true that everyone loves him? Yeah. Very humble si Junmer. Parang pag makasama mo siya, parang binibiro, four-time MVP, ganyan. Parang <laughs> di niyo pinapansin, natawanan na lang niya. So talagang you have to admire Junmer kasi talagang I can say parang isa siya sa mga most loved PBA players. Eh. Which is funny kasi, you know, in basketball, uh, alam mo, hindi naman sa crab mentality, ano? pero syempre pag yung may nag-MVP, 
I know you guys are so competitive. You can't wait. Na yung MVP na yan, eh, sana hindi na ikaw next year. Sana may bago. Sana ako na lang. <laughs> but with June Mark, kasi it's very, very different. You cannot help but cheer for this guy. Exactly. Well, we try our best to beat him. Find ways to, to beat San Miguel. But in the end, June Mark is really, really good. I mean, um, with his height, he's playing in, in the PBA. It's, um, it's rare na may makatapat siyang ganun kalaki. No? So, it, it's for him to, to dominate talaga. Eh. It's, the opportunities are always there for him. Okay, at some point in the past season, Stanley Pringle's name was mentioned. Even a Stan Hardinger also, na parang pwedeng MVP ko Terry, because they can put up the numbers. Eh. Pero numbers are never enough. There's always something else. And what is it? If you're like a Stanley Pringle, ano pa yung kailangan mong gawin to seriously challenge Junmar for that, uh, that title? Uh, siguro, yun nga, parang Junmar won the BPC two times. Parang that gives him a, an advantage na. Well, with... Uh, Stanley's team no? parang they never made it to the semis this conference uh, this season eh. so I think yun lang parang kailangan madala ni Stanley team niya to the semis which is it's going to be pretty pretty tough no? given yeah. the manpower mm-hmm. and the circumstances but what about a Junmar and Stan Hardinger parang duel for MVP is that possible Larry? I guess no. Um, with Stan Hardinger putting him all those numbers um Hopefully, na baka sana magkano sila, magka problema sila. <laughs> sana magka problema sila. I'm just saying that as a no, as a <laughs> opponent, di ba? Di ba? You have to find ways to beat San Miguel. Hirap inat talunin eh. So, wala lang. I just thought about You're it. You're not being a bad person. Sinasaya mo lang. Eh, you know, it's possible para magka-chance sa man yung NLEX na maka, di ba? maka eh, pasok dyan. <laughs> Gabi na siya sa kawo kay Larry. Alam mo, hindi ito ganit, ganito noong araw eh. Eh, ako, must have been the, must have been the cup eh. Uh, uh, your message for the NLEX fans who are you know excited to see you guys uh, uh, start this season, Larry? Yeah, uh, konting tulog na lang, guys. Um, uh, balik na uli kami sa court. Uh, very exciting season. Um, new players. Uh, pagbalik ni Kevin, of course. Uh, hopefully, makabalik tayo sa, ano, sa semis kung saan tayo nakarating a um, uh, few conferences ago. How about you, Kev? Uh, yun, parang first, uh, thank you sa PBA and NLEX fans. Then, yun, sana supportahan nyo ang PBA and yun, ang NLEX, syempre. Then, yun, mag- sana magkita-kita tayo sa games. Kevin Alas and uh, a very talkative Larry for the share. Guys, uh, good luck. Good luck to the Philippines. Thank you. This has been The Score. I'm Nico Anini. We'll see you all again tomorrow.